So you never know what you're gonna plan to do on a Sunday. And my friend and colleague here, Michael Bentoncourt with Wheels.ca, happened to mention that he's got the Lucid Air for a couple day test. And uh, he had to come out here near my home to use a 350 electrified Canada charger. So I'm just chatting and getting a quick little gander at this phenomenally gorgeous Lucid Air. <laughs> So again, I was just I was just doing my own uh, Volkswagen Jetta review, and I get Michael calling me, and uh, yeah. so you've had it for a little bit of time. You're, yeah. I mean, we commented, but your general thoughts on this Lucid? So I've been driving this Lucid Air Performance for yeah. three days now, yeah. and so two hundred fifty thousand is the as tested price on it, and it's been amazing to drive. I have to say, so from a luxury standpoint, from an actual. Uh, driving in terms of uh, that handling acceleration I mean really it's it's hard to beat and I've driven the Porsche Taycan turbo I've driven the turbo West I've driven the 4s so it's amazing how close when you actually dig into the specs how close in size this is to that car so the only thing so far that hasn't been as impressive as the Taycan is the charging mr. Bettencourt Hanging out. <laughs> yes. Jumping. Saying bye <laughs> to the Lucid Air Performance. Now, did you get it to a thousand horsepower yet? <laughs> we did some acceleration runs. We had all those horses galloping. And a boy. Yes. We'll hopefully be able to charge it. So far, our record, in theory, this should charge to 300 kilowatts. We're at about 52% right now. We're going to see if we can break our record so far in this car, which is 78 kilowatts, sadly. Yikes. Yes. Yikes but it's also word. November, there are factors involved, and you're at 52, so you won't get it, and this is not ideal, but. But, yes, that's what we're looking at. I did try charging this car at 15% yesterday. Now, mind you, five degrees, but at five degrees Celsius, at a 350 kilowatt electrified Canada charger, disconnected about 10 different times. So it was a frustrating process. We tried calling, they reset the system. Unfortunately, nothing. So connected it to a 150 kilowatt charger. At this point, my wife and family waiting for me at home. This is not a fun process. So we managed a max 44 kilowatts. So we've already managed to beat that today. 78 kilowatts on a working Petro Canada charger. But again, 78 kilowatts, that was at about 60% charge. We're at about 52% here. And we're just waiting for... For someone on, and this is an Electrify Canada, the Oshawa 350, this one is working. This gentleman should be done in the uh, e-tron. And you're trying to plug this in in your level two at home, and I think you browned out the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I managed to fill it 66% overnight from about, let's see, I brought it home, it was under 5%. Yeah. So we were 3 or 4% when I plugged in, about nine hours later. Wow. We were at 66%, which probably gave me about 470 kilometers. My son, what do you think of this thing? It's pretty cool. Lots of room. Yeah, I'm gonna just step out and see it looking in here. Might as well do a little running take here. Jesus, man. Look at that. Like you're swimming in this space. Holy jumping. Look at this thing here. Look at that. Two tone. Little stitching. Holy. Yes, this is the Pro Pilot panel here. And if you notice, we have the black leather up front, which is meant to reinforce the cockpit feel. Yeah. Versus the tan leather in the back. Oh yeah. They're all the real, damn it, I, I just, you're right. I, black and tan. On the back of these, is, it's a good denim almost. And the Perrier there is a $2,000 option, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at that, fantastic. Thank you. 
So you're front because there's even more space. Oh, okay. oh, you got really deep down there. Mm -hmm. That's probably another six, seven, eight cubic feet. So this is what it looks like normally. You know what? It almost seems like there's more room in the front. I mean, it's wide open. That's a wide opening for a bag. That's true. Yeah. So you, you look at how yeah, you get deep inside for sure. You could almost put multiple bags. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You would. You would put it. Well, I mean, yeah. You could fit one, not deep, but you get one. And again, it's deep in there too. The it's deep there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tight is probably the only competitor because I mean I, I I I was in the EQS. You've got it coming up, and, and yeah, that's yeah. and the guys at Lucid don't consider the EQS to be competition. That's a strange thing. I mean, I came in to this thinking the EQS would have been the closest competitor yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what Lucid had said. Right, Lucid yeah, yeah, yeah. said you know they're a luxury car maker, and Tesla they didn't consider a luxury car maker. They just considered them almost a commodity, especially when you look at their interiors. Wow. You know, not up to not up to luxury standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you look at performance, obviously the Model S Plaid would be close to this. Yeah. Acceleration-wise, probably even a couple tenths quicker than this. But when you look at the overall interior experience, I mean, there's no doubt that this is a step up from even a Model S Plaid. Not bad from an upstart uh, tech disruptor. Um, you know, obviously this is top end. There's there's yeah. entry or po there's lower points under 100, but. Under a K, I think for uh, under a hundred, not yet. Not yet, yeah. So but that's coming. right now, yeah, yeah. right now they're all over two hundred. So yeah. this is a grand touring performance. They have a grand touring, just grand touring, that starts just over two hundred. But the hundred thousand ones are coming next year. Yeah. Next Nonetheless, yeah. it's a gorgeous. I mean, uh, this thing is spectacular, and that's why. I mean, I hadn't been up close to one. When you said you were coming out to this charge station, I said, "Screw it, we'll come <laughs> yes. to see it." All right. Well, Michael Van, I'll put this online. It's Surprise, we'll see. Michael Betancourt, who, by the way, was, uh, you know, we were the co-founders of the Canadian Green Car Award with our uh, late good friend, Peter Gorey. So it's always good to shoot to some stuff with you, pal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. All right, man. Well, hey, listen, I'll just say here, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you are, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload something new. First time I'm going to say my rebrand, it's the Novak Report, Eric Novak. Thanks for watching.